you, how are you? What's going on okay. here? I was telling us the story. Uh, YouTube stuff. Hey guys, welcome to the video. I'm Andre and I want to thank you for tuning in today. So recently I got all four of my wisdom teeth removed. You could probably see I'm a little swollen right here. Because of that, they prescribed me a round of antibiotics in order to prevent bacterial infection. And that's what inspired this video. In this video, I'm going to tell you what foods you should be eating when you're taking antibiotics. Okay, quick disclaimer. I'm not a doctor nor a registered dietitian. I'm just a guy who's trying my best to look out for my own health and pass off some of the information that I learned onto you guys. So take everything I say with a grain of salt and make sure you talk to your doctor before you do any of these things, okay? Okay, let's get into it. Now, antibiotics are great at killing bacteria. This is a good thing for getting rid of harmful bacteria that could cause infection or sickness. But something you have to remember is that our body is full of good bacteria, in particularly in our gut microbiome, in our large intestine. Antibiotics can be pretty detrimental to the population of bacteria in your microbiome. So that's why it's important to eat foods that will help to grow and protect that bacteria in your gut while you're taking antibiotics. These foods that promote the growth of good bacteria in your gut can be categorized into two categories, prebiotics and probiotics. Prebiotics are non-digestible food ingredients that promote the growth of beneficial microorganisms in your gut. The most well-known prebiotics are certain types of fiber. This prebiotic fiber can be found in many different things like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Here are some examples of some prebiotic foods that you should be eating while taking antibiotics. Asparagus, onions, garlic, leeks, artichoke, chicory root, beans and lentils, apples and bananas, flax seeds, and whole grains. What many of these have in common is the fiber inulin. This is a powerful prebiotic fiber that helps to grow good bacteria in your gut. If you just make sure you're eating a diverse array of fruits and vegetables while you're taking antibiotics, you should be pretty good. The next category is probiotics. Probiotics are foods or supplements that contain live microorganisms, usually bacteria, that are very similar to the beneficial bacteria living in your gut. Eating foods rich in probiotics is essential for maintaining a healthy bacteria colony in your gut while you're taking antibiotics. So this is pretty important. Now your main source of probiotics is gonna come from fermented foods. This can be from fermented milk or vegetables. Now, something that I consume every day is kefir, which is a fermented milk beverage, kind of similar to yogurt. I make my own, and it's one of the best known sources of probiotics. Something else you can consume is yogurt. There's lots of good bacteria in both dairy yogurt and dairy alternatives like coconut yogurt and soy yogurt. Probiotics can also be found in raw milk cheeses, milk, and fermented vegetables. Some examples of fermented vegetables include kimchi, sauerkraut, and half sour pickles. You can find these at a lot of grocery stores nowadays, but it's also really easy to make your own. I make my own sauerkraut and eat it almost every day and it's delicious. Way better than anything you're gonna find in the grocery store. I would say the best way to get your probiotics is from whole food sources, like the examples that I just gave, but if you absolutely cannot do that, then there are alternatives like a probiotic supplement in the form of a pill or a drink that you can take. The science isn't very conclusive on how much of that bacteria actually makes it to your gut, but with whole food sources, the bacteria is bound to fats, proteins, and carbs, which gives it a better chance of making it all the way through your digestive tract to your large intestine where you want the bacteria. Okay, so you're eating your prebiotic fruit and vegetables, and you're eating your fermented probiotic foods. Now I gotta tell you what to avoid. 
When you're taking antibiotics, it's important to avoid refined carbohydrates and sugars. You can also harvest the colony of bad bacteria in your gut if you feed it things like sugars and processed carbs. So these should be definitely avoided while your microbiome is being shocked by antibiotics. It's also important... Oh no. <laughs> It's also best to avoid drinking alcohol when you're taking antibiotics. In general, alcohol doesn't mix well with a lot of medications, and it can actually hinder the effects of certain antibiotics. Now let's head over to the kitchen, and I'll show you some of the things that I've been eating while taking antibiotics. This is homemade kefir. I make my kefir from raw milk, which is unpasteurized milk that I get from a local farm. I understand that not everyone has this luxury, but you can still get tons of benefits of probiotic bacteria if you drink kefir. I've also been making sure to eat plenty of uh, yogurt, because yogurt also has tons of probiotics. I've got a whole host of fermented foods right now, fermented vegetables, um, and here they are. These are two different forms of sauerkraut I use with different flavors, and I've got some fermented red onions and some Brussels sprouts. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you guys found this useful or learned something new, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like on this video. Also, if you wanna see more content like this, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.